Hi everyone, I'm Katherine McDonald. I'm, I'm, I made this piece, it's called Namisto. I just want everybody to know I'm a terrible, I get stage fright, so <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't memorize anything that I wanted to say, but uh, this is a long story behind this piece. A friend of mine who's in my yoga class 10 years ago, she was in Slovakia when the invasion happened. She's originally from Slovakia, which is right on the border with Ukraine. And she didn't go home because the next day there were all of these Ukrainian refugees coming right into her, her hometown. And so she sent around, she started to do a humanitarian aid. They would just go to like the Tesco there and take thousands of pounds of potatoes and, and every, I mean, uh, all kinds of toiletries, medicine, food to the, uh, city center where they have a SOS. I forgot, I can't say it, it's in Slovakian. So she's basically been taking food to this refugee center. And she's, uh, so I started making these necklaces, which I was trying to give people for awareness and they were donating their money to me and I was sending it to her. And so finally I just said, this is really ridiculous. <laughs> so I, I just put it on a big Mobius curve. I don't know if you know what a Mobius band is, but you go on the inside and you keep going around and you end up on the outside. So it's, you're constantly going around. So the idea was that these are beaded necklaces, which is an old tradition that Ukrainian women and other women in the region, not just in Ukraine, would wear necklaces. It was a sort of a symbol of their wealth and their status in life. And instead of making them out of coral or pearl or glass, I decided to make the necklaces and the um, colors of the Ukraine. They're inspired by the colors of the Ukrainian flag. So it's sort of just a reminder to me in general how interconnected we all are. I mean, we know this, our oil prices are up. I mean, the gas, the food, all of these things are happening because of the war in, in Ukraine. And I just heard on the radio that uh, the other day that, you know, Africa is going to starve because we're not, they're not going to be able to ship the wheat to Africa. So I just also made these necklaces in memory of the women and the children who are now displaced. They, they're not, they're not, their homes are destroyed and they're still, this always happens during war. So, and the other thing is I wanted to point out, I made little, um, the, in olden times, the women would also wear, I mean, this is thousands of years ago, they would wear necklaces as an amulet, you know, as a protection. So in the old tradition, it was supposed to protect you from evil spirits and bad people. So I was just thinking, well, hopefully we can protect this from the evil, you know, war is constant in the planet. We just, but here it is here in Ukraine and it's affecting our, it's affecting everything here in the United States even. Thank you.